Hello, today I'm here with a new video and a new hair again. I don't know which video is coming up first. Today I am doing a palette bingo with my fine monochromatic palettes. So I have Ooh La La, Just My Luck, Blue Moon, Aha Honey, and Orange You Glad. And I think they came out in this order, so I will pick one shade from each palette. So I will start with Ooh La La, then Just My Luck, Blue Moon. Uh huh, honey, and weren't you glad? So we will see how this will go. I don't know if this is going to be super hard, maybe. And they all have nine pens. I think I will just generate all the numbers first, and then we will see. And yes, I'm going to write them down. So if we start with Ulala, I have number six. And in just my luck, nine. I have no idea which colors these are. Blue moon, four. Uh huh, honey, five. And orange, you glad, number seven. If we start with Ulala, I got number six, and that is Sandbar, this one, and I I switched them. This one, a really bright pink. In Just My Luck, I got number nine, and that is Charmed. Of course, I get like the most boring one. In Blue Moon, I got number four, and that is Starry Eye. I think I used this in my first impression. I will leave all my first impressions up here in the cards. In the Aha uh -huh Honey we got number 5 and I think that is the press glitter. Yes it is. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to like swatch anything. Yeah, I am. So it's the pressed glitter. And in orange you glad I got number seven. So it is this tangerine dreams. Okay, so this is my color story and I have like no idea at all what I'm going to do. What? <laughs> this feels hard. But I'm going to figure something out. We will see how this is going. Maybe shit, maybe not, but... The only thing that bugs me a little bit is that I didn't get a green because I wanted a green with just my luck and then I get a brownish olive shade. But what to do? I... I will fix this. Okay, so if you hear some sounds, it's my boyfriend that is making dinner, just so you know. He's trying to be quiet, so yeah. I think I actually will start with this from Just My Luck, Charmed. And I think I want to do pretty a little darker look. I'm not sure yet. And I will take this in my crease and really hope that this isn't super dark in my crease. And I taking a smaller blending brush than I that I than I usually do because I don't want to have like shadow all up to my brow bone. Okay, I think I will go in with a clean fluffier brush and just smudge it out a little. Maybe I can go in with fluffy. Okay, maybe this was a good or a bad idea. It was a pretty good idea. And I just wish that I maybe could had gotten some f more fun shade than this. From the just my luck, but no. Okay, <laughs> so I will go like that and then I will take is this brush clean? Charm and put it on my lid as well. It 
it feels like every time I do palette bingo I want to do so colorful that I can now I was like I'm not going to I really like this shade but it doesn't like scream a green monochromatic look for me it's like one of the two shades that doesn't is super green or it's the one shade that doesn't scream but I like this shade but okay so I feel something like this and then I will go in with the one from the orange this one tangerine dream and do a half cut crease with this and if I'm going to be honest, I still have no idea what I'm going to do with the glitter. And then I go in with Tangerine Dreams and put it on here. And I really hope that these two... Make a good combo. And now I'm like, where am I going to be able to have the pink? And blue. I don't know. I think this was a good choice for the lid, but it's like they have three other shades that are going into this. And I have no idea how. I just want to go in with the charm from just my luck. To fix the edge. I feel if the glitter wasn't dangerous to have in your eye area I would have it had it in my inner corner but it feels stupid to take it there because you are not supposed to get it in your eyes so a inner corner feels like a super bad idea and I'm thinking if I want to go in with the blue one up here just like with a small pointy pencil brush is to put like a little thing over I don't know if this is going to be opaque enough okay why did I do this but if I do like this I could go in with a blue in my waterline to like try to connect those okay maybe this wasn't that bad I don't know if you can see it but I hope you can so what are we going to do with the glitter because I think I know what a want to do with my under eyes but it's this glitter I have no idea maybe if I just put it like in the line here I think I will try that so just like a line here or okay and then I just make the glitter Hope that this works. Okay, my camera stopped recorded. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know if this was a good idea. I think it's too much. I wonder if I can take the brush that I took charmed. I just try to swoop some of the glitter away or maybe I'm going to have glitter all over my, my face. I just think we have to live with this because I don't want to have glitter everywhere. When I did my first impression with the Aha uh Honey -huh palette and used this glitter, I have glitter everywhere for like four days. It was in my hair, on my clothes, on my cats, in the bed. It was everywhere. 
Okay, but what is done is done, so I guess I have to look like this. So, okay, I will take away the fallouts and fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and we'll do the under eyes. And I actually only have one shade left. It's from the Oolala. And it's this one. So, yeah, I think I will maybe succeed in this. So I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we finish up this look together. The base and brows are on and for my under eyes I will go in with Charmed and also with... Can I hold this without dropping anything? Sandbar. And I will have Charmed just on my outer corner. So I think I will start with Sandbar. I can take Sandbar on my whole lower lash so something like that and then I go in with charm just to deepen it down and making it work a little bit better with my lid just out here so it's still pink the most of it so, okay, I think I am done like this. So I'm going to put something in my waterline and I think I will take a light blue to go with this little thing here. Put on the lipstick and mascara and then I will be back with the finished look with my multi palette bingo look with Colourpop's monochromatic palettes. So, this is the finished look. For my waterline I used Prance from Colourpop and for my lips I used Cami from Colpop is the lipstick and I think it goes okay with the look and I don't really know what I feel about this look. Maybe I like it. I think I like it. Even though I wasn't so pleased with the colors I got. But it's nothing I can do about it. So the colors I have had in this I don't know where to put palette in this multi palette bingo is okay how am I going to do this smooth from the Ulala la I got sandbar sandbar this one and we are finished with this palette apparently from just my luck I used this charmed Really like it, but I wish that I would g gotten like a green, super green instead. And from the blue moon, I used starry eyed. I wish I had got like one more dark color than only this charm from Just My Luck. From the Oolala, I got the color that I hated the most. It's not even like a shadow, it's the pressed glitter. <sighs> I just know when I'm going to take this makeup away, I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Like, everywhere. And the last one, Orange You Glad, I got Tangerine Dreams. So, that was all the five colors I got from my five monochromatic palettes from Colourpop. I really hope you liked this video. What do you think about the look? Should I have done something different or not? And do you think that I will have glitter all over my body? If you have any good tips to take away glitter and not have it everywhere, please tell me because I don't know what to do. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!